come on. A bit more. Helping them, you know, get past this first obstacle of their life. Hopefully the sea is kind to them and in 30 years time, hopefully we see them again. We're here today at Raffles Lighthouse. It's a hawksbill turtle nest and it's the last one of the season. Today is day 49. Hawksbill turtles, they usually hatch between day 50 to 55. Typically, the clutches are about 100 to 150 in Singapore. So, we're not going to uncover all of them. Uh, we're going to just dig a nice window so we have a snapshot of all the eggs. Okay, so this is the first egg. Well, unfortunately, it looks a bit decolorized already. So this might not, probably might not hatch. Bacteria might have got to it. And this one smells a bit off. One in 1,000 survive to adulthood. It is very low for a critically endangered population. That's why every hatchling counts. Okay, so this is what a healthier egg should look like. It should be very white. I can feel it throbbing. Oh, okay, okay. okay. Now it's a bit more, yeah, I see yeah. the wetness. Yeah. Yep. Okay. okay. I've just dug a bit deeper and I found that some hatchlings have already exited the shell. They're still very lethargic, so we're going to cover the nest up uh, and let them fully develop. Over the next two or three days, the rest of the eggs will hatch and together they will all fight their way up to the surface. Monitor lizards, they have a very keen sense of smell. So this mesh helps to prevent monitor lizards from eating the nest. That's it. Is it a good day? Yeah, it's a good day. We saw some hatchlings, so that's a clear indication that from this nest, at least we'll still have some hatchlings coming out. Mm. Oh, here we go. Yeah, they're popping out already. She looks pretty good. All right. There's another one here. Hi. Yeah, I mean, he looks pretty healthy too, pretty active. You just help me do a count first. So we're going to take some measurements. It's like the vital statistics of a newborn baby. And then we'll also count the number of scutes on their shells and the face. All the best. Become big and healthy. When they run down the beach, we believe that this imprints on them the geographic location and they're able to home in to the same beach 30 years later when they're ready to lay eggs. But they've got a lot of predators, especially the reef sharks that are common around our shores. So the odds are very stacked against them. If they make it to the stronger outside currents and get carried away, they might have a chance of surviving. That way, you see in Finding Nemo, they ride the currents out uh, to their feeding grounds. You know, in the eyes of others, it might not seem like much. But I think I made a big difference in these turtles' lives. And for me personally, it's, uh, it's very satisfying. Uh. Hopefully, the sea is kind to them, and in 30 years' time, hopefully, we see them again. The total population is estimated to be less than 9,000 individuals. Mm, apart from predation, which is natural, uh, they are also harvested for the shell trade because they have a very attractive shell. Their population has declined by about 80% in the past 120 years. You know, among all the turtle species, they are the least studied. Uh, we're quite lucky in the sense that we have nesting populations of hawksbill turtles that return every year. So this gives us a very good opportunity to satellite tag them and know more about their movements. Every time she breaks the surface, the satellite tag will send a ping to the satellites uh, and they'll transmit the data back to us. Most of the time, the tags last about one to two years, so it gives us a lot of valuable data. This one short, uh, maybe say 20 minutes, say 20 minutes. Yeah, okay. Yes, good. From some of our past studies, uh, we have seen that the turtles that we tag in Singapore, they actually 
go across, you know, all the way to Indonesia uh, and the Riau Islands. So all this is very important for us to inform the broader conservation strategies. And it's part of the wider vision for M Parks to transform Singapore into a city in nature. I think I've become more determined. Not many people, you know, get the opportunity to protect the nation's uh, critically endangered sea turtles. And us, we are doing all we can to uh, conserve these species. So if you do see them along any of our beaches, do keep a distance from them. Don't shine any bright lights on them and give N Parks a call.